it's your boy Zay. This video too for the day, bro. Really, what I'm doing is I'm rehashing this video. I recorded it once, but I don't really like the quality of it, so I'm gonna redo it. So today, what we talking about is, bro. Let's step out the car real quick. Dang, bro. I probably should have put a deck on the jacket on. It's kind of cold out here. I found a nice little parking lot to record in. But today, what we filming is a rap review, bro. So look, let's take a look at the car. Where going? I mean, so terrible. But look, first, we got this wrap right here. It's just a gloss black. And then we have the tech wrap. Kind of like a... It's almost, no, it's a satin white. I have, I have to be forgetting. Oh my gosh, bro, I'm in shambles. But anyway, bro, so what we have is a tech wrap. We have a satin white color. I forgot what the actual wrap name is. I'm gonna put it in here. But we had a satin white color. And then on the roof, what we got is tech wrap carbon fiber. I think it's ceramic carbon fiber. We got it on the roof and on the side mirrors. So yeah, that's how that looked. And I had some stickers under there. Stickers look really nice under a wrap, bro. I think it's a great idea to do that. But yeah, we got the whole car wrap. And this right here, my wing isn't wrapped. I just daggone like spray painted that with some plastic. Dip. That's nothing serious. Then, I don't know, about a year since we had the car wrap and it's been holding up really good. The only problem with it is, is this right here on the front. See on the front, got some, you know, holes in the wrap. But that's because the freaking first day I got the car wrapped, bro. It's bad right here. But the freaking first day I got the car wrapped, bro. I was driving behind a truck. And you know them trucks that carry all them little rocks and sand and dirt up here. Bro, it just tore my wrap up, bro. As you can see, it's all on the front and whatnot. But yeah, bro, other than that, ain't really no damage. And then this part right here. My windshield wiper, bro, it just come and scrape this every time, bro. And as you can see, it's getting under the actual thing. And it went through the wrap, and it's getting under the actual thing in the car, bro. And, you know, it's obviously, like, stained right there. I don't know if you can see it, but the black for the day on windshield wipers is getting under there. But, yeah, like I said, other than that, it's like I've had no problems with the wrap. The carbon fiber is not starting to stain. stain. It's not starting to fade at all. It look good still. And I be having a car all the time. I, I've never had lived in a place where I had a garage or anything. So, look at that, look at that. And of course it's dirty under there because, you know, heavy use area. You know, you put in your hand there down a lot of door and whatnot. But yeah, like I was saying, hasn't faded or anything. The color on the wrap still look like how it looked from day one. Like in the car, it's getting kind of chilly out there, bro. It's warming up 62 over here, bro, but it's still kind of chilly and the wind not even blowing. But yeah, bro, so far I would say tech wrap is a good investment. I haven't had any problems with the wrap. It's not really lifting anywhere. It's not even lifting like under the door handle or whatever. And you know, your hand come through and scrape there all the time. It's not really starting to lift anywhere. And if it did, you know, you can just take a heat gun, warm it up and place it back down. It's not that hard to do. But yeah, it's been about a year. I've had no problems with tech wrap. And I was hearing from rappers and stuff like I watch on like YouTube. I suggest you do this too. Before you ever install something on your car or you looking to get a wrap or anything, watch a review on YouTube just to see how it is, you know or their opinion on some things. And that might not always be true because you know, it's an opinion and that's pretty much biased. But yeah, bro, I suggest doing that for you do anything. But yeah, man, it's, it's been good. I've been hearing, I, God, what am I saying, bro? That's what happened when you don't record for a long time. You just be stumbling on your words. But yeah, I was hearing from YouTubers and YouTube channels that tech rap came from China and it wasn't a good brand and it's cheap, but hey, if it's not a good brand and it's cheap, then I guess cheap wrap is good, bro. Because it's been holding up for me. And y'all see how it look. It still look good. Still shine like day one. I wish the sun was out. It's a little cloudy outside today. But yeah, man. So. And then with that, like most things come from China anyway, bro. Like all the downpipes you can get, bro. It's like all the same downpipe, bro. It don't matter where you get it from. It's all manufactured in China. Some people say they manufacture their stuff in-house. Maybe they just brand it in-house, but it's manufactured in China. But everything comes from china bro but i'm not even gonna get a tangent on that not even gonna go too far on that but yeah man this is my one year rap review 
no staining, no excessive damage, no peeling, no nothing. It's A1 since day one, bro. So yeah, it's been a short little video with your boy Zay. I'm wrapping up this video and I'm gone. But before you go, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, bro. Let me know what y'all want to see in the comments down below, bro. And I appreciate y'all for watching, like always. I'm going for real this time.